Morning folks, Brian here, Geomagnetic Earthwatch. Sunday, June 29, 2025. So some information coming out, which is actually, it's not new. It's been expected. So the United States Government Department of Defense will be suspending uh, the uh, Defense Meteorological Satellite Program Data Access which means a lot more than just uh, meteorologists, weather people will no longer be able to track, monitor, forecast weather events. It is much more detailed than that. And I'll go through it step by step and what it really means. Before I do, uh, let, me sh let me show you the sites that I use on a daily basis to keep you informed. So every morning when I wake up, I set up my computer, and this is what I have on my screen at all times throughout the day until I go to bed at night. I have NASA Worldview, and that uh, enables me to just check for the hot spots, fires, where they might be spraying, but mostly for the heat detections. as you know, and as I show you. And I also use NASA Firms, the Fire Information for Resource, Resource Management System. Same thing. Heat anomalies, heat detections, anomalies, which could be industry, fire, magma related. Then we have the National Data Buoy Center. So the only reason why I watch this, since they made some changes recently, I use it to monitor for any movement of the ocean floors because the buoys are anchored, chained down, cabled down to the ocean floor. So any movement of the ocean floor will put the buoy into event mode. Some examples are many a times, it used to be about once or twice a week, the Gulf of Alaska. Pearl Islands, Adam and Sea, entrance of the Timor Sea into the Indian Ocean, uh, Coral Sea, it's been a while, but off the coast of Nova Scotia and New York, Axial Seamount, California, were the ones that used to go into motion on a regular basis until they've made some format changes. And uh, how they report. So this is this new this new format of the graphical display display is new. So they made some changes, and they also made some changes so we uh, don't see what's happening anymore of the ocean floor. Next, I use a uh, null school net. Sort of use to show you the uh, jet streams. I can check the ocean temperatures, sea surface temperatures. Oh. So more off the coast of uh, Texas. Get back to that later. And a whole bunch of other things that uh, I can put in. And I also have windy.com. I always have it set on sulfur dioxide emissions. But if you go to the right side, there's many, many different uh, layers that you can put into it. Wind, wind gusts, radar, satellite, weather radar, dew point, humidity, etc. But I like to have it set on sulfur dioxide. Windy gets some of their information from the US government, some. And of course, we have the uh, NOAA Space Weather Protection Center, which for the most part, I just completely ignore because they're not too reliable.
Space Weather Live, which gets their information from NOAA and NASA. Another one is Zoom Earth. So you can use Zoom Earth, you can do your satellite, radar, precipitation, wind, temperature, humidity, pressure. So for example, we can monitor incoming hurricanes, not anymore. That is until tomorrow. I'll include the link to these articles. The Defense, Defense Department will stop providing crucial satellite weather data. It's a lot more than that, however. My camera's malfunctioning, but again, I'll include the link for this uh, HTML document. So the topic discussion is the suspension of all Defense Meteorological Satellite Program DMSP data by June 30th, tomorrow, 2025. Products impacted. All DMSP data for products, fine, smooth, and housekeeping data from Operational Line Scan System, DLS, Special Sensor Microwave Imager Sounder, and pay attention to this one, all near-Earth space weather instruments. I will define that in a moment. This is a permanent. This does not mean that they're not going to continue to monitor it. This means that permanently we will no longer have access to this information. Now, I'll delve deeper into it in a moment. But what a lot of people are, are thinking and talking about is that uh, meteorologists, weather people, will no longer have the ability to see, to track weather systems out in the oceans, to do accurate forecasting of incoming hurricanes, storm system, cyclones, typhoons, tornado tracks. Uh, they will not be able to know, therefore, us until it reaches landfall. There will be no advance notice to prepare. Only what the government chooses to pass on to us. On the other hand, they've just denied access for that information for us to prepare. I have my camera phone set up in a different way, right? So my camera lens is over there, but I'm always looking over there. So we will no longer have any advanced notice of hurricanes, such as I just showed you. There'll be no more advanced notice of developing tornado tracks. Advanced notice would be warm, humid air coming in from the bottom, colder air coming in from the top. We will not be able to see these pressure zones. No flash flood predictions, wind directions and speeds. There's much more to it than that. Please listen carefully. So in that article that states products or data impacted among other data will include all near-Earth space weather instruments. What is near-Earth space environment? It is the solar terrestrial physics which focuses on near-Earth space environments, which includes people, the solar winds, our protective magnetosphere, the ionosphere, and the thermosphere. There will no longer be public access to that information. Do you understand what I just finished saying? 
the solar winds, the solar wind environment and impact into our magnetosphere, the status of our magnetosphere, the ionosphere and thermosphere. Again, it is the suspension of all defense meteorological programs and data. They're not getting rid of it. We no longer have access to it. So the ESPC interfaces, those who up until tomorrow have access, included government agencies, other government agencies, international partners, authorized academic institutions, and commercial enterprises. You see all these other sites like uh, Zoom Earth, Null School, Wendy.com, which is a Czechoslovakia company. They, in part, get their information from these satellites. Until tomorrow. So obviously, they don't want to see the uh, system effects, the SAL system effects on our planet, expected to accelerate and intensify, I would suspect. And how an incoming binary system is going to have adverse effects on our weather, as so predicted. What would really concern me I don't use the word fear because I don't use fear. It really concerns me, people. If this would also include NASA Worldview and NASA Firm's heat detections, which as I consistently show you is just getting out of hand everywhere. Australia, perimeter of Australia, Greece, Turkey, Italy, Cascadia subduction zone, west coast United States, and other areas. The moment they start shutting that down, well, I guess our only point, uh, our source of reference is going to be what we should be referring to in the first place in scripture. So I guess we'll see over the next few days, starting next week, who's going to be impacted. You see, they can either take out, eliminate those persons who are gathering the information and reporting it to you, or make them blind so they can't see absolutely nothing. Whether it's your typical weather person, for example, who are giving you advance notice on incoming storm tracks, tornado tracks, etc. Space weather conditions, ocean conditions. They cut the cord. We're not going to be able to see anymore. Okay, that's going to be it for now. As you were.